Hey, how's it going? Thanks for watching. It's been a little while since I made a video. Um, we've been kind of busy around here. It's starting to get fall. Things are starting to happen. It's starting to be a little cooler in the mornings and at night especially. So uh, that just gets me going. Fall's my favorite time of year. Today it's uh, low 70s. Got a little breeze going. and I'm sure you can hear the trees in the background. So what we've been up to. Uh, last week took a week off. It was our county fair. If you know anything about county fairs, um, at least in Ohio, they've been a little different this year. Um, the governor kind of switched his mind back and forth on what was going to happen, but ended up deciding that uh, would be junior fair only, which is great. Support the 4-H kids, the FFA kids. Um, the only problem I had with it is we have a six-year-old who's been working really hard the last year with her two horses, and she couldn't show because there was no open fair, just 4-H. So... Uh, my dad's had his camper spot at our county fair for 36 years. We thought about not going, be the first year uh, we weren't gonna go. And then we decided, you know what? I had the vacation approved for a week. My brother had vacation approved for the week. Um, it's the week before school starts for most of the kids in the area. So let's just make the most of it. Um, and like I said, there was a uh, fair was pretty empty. Uh, the draft horse barn wasn't even open. A few of the other barns weren't even open. Uh, we had 17 horses and usually there's definitely over a hundred. They fill one, two, three, four barns with horses usually, not counting draft horses. It'd be five with draft horses. And some year there's so many horse projects that they put up giant uh, circus tents with walls and then put stalls on the inside. So it's a little weird seeing a lot of the barns close this year. But uh, hey, that's what you got to do. Um, everyone did a good job of social distancing, at least from what I feel, um, and wore masks anytime you're on the fairgrounds. So we had a good time. Uh, it was nice staying in my dad's new, uh, he bought a 40, I think it's 42 and a half, 43 foot Jayco fifth wheel. So that was really nice. Um, we only use the camper for fair mostly. And then he decided this was the first camper we've ever had new and that we we're going to start doing a little bit more family trips. So. That worked out nice, had some good food, um, did some good family time, so it was good. Sad to see fair week over, um, but hey, that's how it goes. So, back to what we're doing around here. If you see down the driveway, way down there, right there, there's a couple IBC totes. And that's another thing, um, when I was off on my week of vacation, I did a lot of thinking. I originally started buying these IBC totes because I wanted the cages for our own firewood. Um, they used to all be stacked here. And uh, so I cleared an area out in the woods. That's where I'm doing my firewood splitting right now. That's where I'm doing my uh, stack of the IBC totes. Finally got a deal worked out with a log company. They dropped off a log, a load of logs along the driveway up here. So that's been really awesome. Uh, starting to get that going. I'm going to use what I need, save for a few years, and then um, depending on how much quantity I'm getting of logs, I'm going to process some and try and sell it because uh, side hustle is always a good thing. But part of that side hustle is I want to be legal. I want to make sure everything's legit. So talk to my wife about it. Um, with these IBC totes, sorry for the wind if you guys are, if the mic's picking up any of that. Um, with these IBC totes, I my goal was to sell the bladders out of them and basically pay for a large majority of the cages so it wasn't such a hit out of my pocket. So I started advertising just the bladders, their food grade bladders, and they have blown up. People are going crazy. They want them. Now I got guys who want just the cages, people who want just the bladders. I got people who want to buy a whole thing. So I was like, you know what? It's time to get an LLC. It's time to do this right. So Paperwork is at the attorney as we speak. We are starting a LLC. Um, I already talked to the accountant, I already talked to the insurance man. So basically we're gonna be doing the whole buy and sell on IBC totes. We're gonna be doing it legit, uh, paying taxes on that. Um, I have people who in the spring wanted me to do gardens and then in the fall do food plots, grade driveways, anything to do with the tractor because I have a bunch of implements, attachments for that. So we're uh, doing the LLC. It's kind of going to be like you know, the whole firewood, the tractor work, and the uh, IBC totes. Um, then I got thinking, 
I'm looking at the dump trailers. They seem very versatile. I think with something like what we're doing, uh, they would definitely come in handy. So, um, got that going on. I'm kind of researching dump trailers right now. I'd like to buy something here later this fall, or if not, definitely in the spring, because I don't even have a pole barn for it to go in yet. So maybe I'll hold off and buy one in the spring so it's not sitting out all winter. Um, next project, let me show you over here is this is my 1995 steiger implement trailer it's a 18 plus two foot dovetail or beaver tail whatever you want to call it it's like an 8,000 pound gross uh weighted trailer and uh yes david i know you watch my videos um usually i never pulled anything heavy on it but now with the kubota i'm over 4,500 pounds in the state of ohio I believe if I read the regulations right, anything over 4,500 pounds combined trailer and freight, you need to have trailer brakes. This does have trailer brakes. Uh, my grandpa bought this trailer brand new. It was never used. My grandpa used it just to haul our Oliver farm tractor around here and there uh, between my dad's farm and my grandpa's business. And uh, I think the brakes went bad just from sitting. So I'm going to jack it up, pull the wheel off. I want to grease all the hubs, do all that. My dad just rewired it not that long ago, um, so I got all the lights work on it. But I want to get these electric trailer brakes on here, make me feel a little bit more confident, and uh, do things a little bit more by the law. So, on top of all that stuff going on, we got a free snowmobile. I know nothing about snowmobiles. This was given to us by a family member. I don't even know what year it is. I think it's uh, late 80s, early 90s. It is a Yamaha Venture GT. Um, haven't had it off the trailer yet, but it's got uh, heated grips, electric start, reverse. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Um, when we got it, they said we didn't necessarily have to keep it. Um, if we wanted to sell it and use that money towards something else for around the house, we could do that. My wife wants a golf cart, so uh, we may go that route. I don't know it's probably not worth a whole lot but the thing is cool over there you can see the king quad the griddle and the smoker are still on the trailer because I have not unloaded that from our county fair last week um, got some wood in the front that I'm gonna take to my older brother's house and uh, the one bad thing about being on vacation for a week is if you see over here deep freeze uh we were away from the house my wife was home most time but uh after eight days of vacation i'd stop back and forth here and there throughout the day um the day after my vacation was over uh i woke up and i said good morning to my wife because she wakes up before i do and she goes hey i think there's an issue and i said what's that she goes something's leaking out of the deep freeze and it smells kind of funky in the garage so i lost a whole lot of venison probably 50 pounds of pork and i lost what else did we lose a whole lot of lake erie perch and walleye so uh i guess i need to go out there and restock up for the winter now but that's the way it goes sometimes that thing was eight years old so i guess i can't complain too much i was in it like a week earlier everything was fine i check on it at least you know periodically a couple times a week um, but then i wasn't home for a while and that's what happens so burning some uh big elm chunks that I got dropped off here that uh, were a little too spongy to uh, a little too spongy to put on the log splitter but that's what's going on kind of doing some spring cleaning in the garage I like to get everything out sweep everything out blow everything out so uh, that's what we're doing there uh, I had the tractor out moving some totes around today and it is that time of year and something very exciting because i've never been a part of i did not grow up with chickens my wife did <laughs> we have a couple chickens that are about ready to lay eggs and that is exciting and they make some really weird sounds i come from a big animal livestock family like large animal i should say so chickens kind of freak me out but uh yeah the sounds they're making we got two roosters that are how old are they now the older ones 12 or 13 weeks. Yeah, so they're about 12, 13 weeks. They're starting to really try to crow. 
going through puberty. That's hilarious. But that's what we've been doing. Um, haven't done a video in a while. I've had some people ask me what's going on with the updates. And uh, I got, had some dirt hauled in to grade in front of the house. And then all of a sudden the cornfield sprouted up there. But you can see our sunflowers out here in the back. Um, if you watch the food plot video we did on that uh, two and a half, whatever, three acres. Um, as you can see with the grass here, we went uh, over a month and had two tenths of rain. So a lot of things just turned brown. Corn here is not looking too good. Uh, the beans are still okay. But uh, I planted that food plot and Coley packed it right before a big storm was coming. And then just my luck, the storm got about two miles away, split, went north and south of us. And then we didn't get rain for over three weeks. And it was hot. Each day was above the 90s. So that kind of went to hell. Uh, we did get two inches of rain here in the last week. And I see it starting to uh, come up. I may reseed in a week. Um, right, be trying hopefully time it before a big rain. Because I'm not going to drive the Coldy Packer back through the stuff that actually is growing. But that's what we've been up to. And here's the youngest group of chicks. Here's the three Favorels. We got one rooster and uh, two hens. But uh, how old are those guys? And those are eight weeks, so hopefully don't we're done with chickens for a while. But uh, yeah, it's cool. It's exciting getting these older ones about to uh, start laying. And that's what we're doing. I have to, uh, I used to hunt a farm the next county north of us. Uh, it was broken up on different parcels altogether. It was about a thousand acres that I had permission to hunt. And the gentleman that was always very nice to me and gave me permission to hunt he passed away two years ago and uh now it just seems like a free-for-all out there neighbors are just uh driving through the woods with their four-wheelers um they haven't stolen any of my trail cameras but they get right up in the trail camera they don't care Shelly. so uh i gotta go get uh let's see bro i got six stands out that i need to get um, I might sell them and then just buy two nicer ones for here. This is 20 acres, so I don't have a ton of place to be putting up a whole lot of uh, stands. But uh, let's see, over here, that's a trail we own all the way to that cornfield. And the deer come down that trail. Then there's another trail in the woods there that goes down along the big tree line. So... Uh, I'm thinking about putting a stand about right there. I know it's stupid close to the house, but uh, I only bow hunt mostly. So that wouldn't matter. Um, but that's a big travel corridor there. And then and there's a big uh, path in between this uh, tree row. That tree line's about 40 yards deep. And then they cut down through there. And uh, we haven't even started to deal with stuff on that side of the property. Um, but uh, that's just super thick. I know the deer love it. But just a little update on what we've been doing. Things have been kind of crazy lately. Um, starting an LLC. Researching dump trailers. If you guys have uh, any experience with dump trailers, let me know what you're thinking. I've been looking at the morts. <laughs> oh gosh, look at this. Someone's broom came in the mail today for her uh, Halloween costume. Where'd you get that skirt? Run. <laughs> that kid is nuts. But uh, really looking at Mort's dump trailers. Um, the, you know, there's so much stuff you can do with a dump trailer. Um, possibilities are endless, and I think it'd really work well. But compost is doing good. You got some dirt there. And uh, I got to flip the compost here in a minute. But... That's what we've been doing. I know this probably isn't a real specific video, but I've been getting some questions about updates. And you can see the food plot looks horrible right now. And uh, at least the wildflower patch is looking good. And our sunflowers. So, that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'll check back with you guys in a couple days uh, once I know more about what's going on. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button. And take care.